Hey guys, uh, we've just come into the museum. So, admission is free, which is nice. Um, it's got aircon, which is really nice. So, it'd be good to see like what we've just seen in the palace and explain because we've just been looking, we don't know what it is. So, if I hate people or something, keep touching my nose. have arrived in Anguk after leaving uh, Gyeongbokgung so that was only like a two minute ride we probably could have walked here in like 10 minutes or so but it is hot today um, we're walking up the road as to where I think that um, the village is um, the direction said it would be like a 10 minute walk but like Google Maps is really not doing so well in Korea and it won't show us like the directions that we need so whenever I try and find a route it won't work so I'm just going to watch the little pointer as it goes up the map. <laughs> so this is what the scenery looks like. It's kind of... I don't know, it feels like we're out of town. Like out of... Out of the city a little bit. Even yeah, though we're not. There, there's a few shops here that are like... They're cute. They're wooden on the outside. So it looks kind of olden style. Olden style. Like the one coming up now. Oh, Korea Centre on Gambling Problems. I think this is the one for you. This is your stop. I'll see you guys later. See you later. Drop you off here. <laughs> gambling problem. Um, yeah, having a walk up. If you're wondering uh, what this village is, it's actually just like a very traditional looking um, set of old, like traditional, oh my god, Korean houses, like just kind of clustered together. It's and then it's on a hill. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very traditional, much traditional. Um, and then it kind of looks over the city, so it's a really, really nice view and just quite cute to visit there. So that's where we're on our way to now. I think we have arrived in part of the village. Tons of birds at his feet. <laughs> Not sure which way to go. That way? That way? quite a quick little walk uphill and then there's this little chicken ginseng soup place that I saw that was really cute so I'm gonna check it out even though we're not that hungry here we are so there's the chickens you really can't see the sign right now maybe when we come back out Ginseng. Yeah. Are they real? Yeah. Korea. Oh, it's our soup. 
our side dishes. Ted being a nerd with his mokgoli. He only wants to eat it because of that. What, that music video? Ichima music video. It's the only reason he wants it. He got these cute little pots. So cute. Bubbling. Mm. Just waiting for our kimchi pan. He just is. He just laughed at me because I drank it from my glass. He laughed at me because I drank it from my glass. Yeah, he's like, like no, you see. I'm supposed to drink it from this and mix it up. There's a lot of mixing involved with this. It's like all the rice sediments get to the bottom. Uh, pour this in. Yeah, you fool. Hide your mistakes. It's all It's just me getting drunk today. Every day. One in beer, more gold. <laughs> Chicken and ginseng soup, so good. Even the honey here, y'all. We shared this. Um, the kimchi they have here is really good. The um, the garlic is really nice as well. And we've got that almost finished. Pretty nice. Um, but mokgoli is like half because I've had a bit, but um, Ted doesn't want to get too cray cray because we're doing some other tourist things. So. You know. It's really nice though. Mm. If you eat a bit of like a bit of chicken, mm. have a piece of kimchi and garlic. Yeah, when you like follow it, yeah, follow it up with some chicken and some kimchi. It's really, really good. Um, it's kind of like a milky, milky sake or like a milky champagne. champagne. Yeah, yeah, it's like got that kind of taste, uh, ricey type. Yay, well done. The lady is so cute. The one I said who got scared at the police when we were leaving. She like she looked at me and she's like, yeah, boy, oh. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I didn't know what to do apart from laugh. And then when we left, she was like, we were like, and then she was like, yeah, boy, oh. <laughs> oh my God, stop. <laughs> um, this is the place. It's called Korean Jinsen Chicken Soup. And it's on a cute little hill like this. But yeah, yummy, yummy, yummy. Like that is fine. Yeah, it's, I think it would be especially good during winter. It's our first time that we've had chicken soup. Yeah, so but we I'm can't glad. Judge it from, yeah. From whatever, but we feel like it's good and it's got a good atmosphere. Hmm, good atmosphere. I like it. Hey guys, we're back. We are in Myeongdong. Favorite place ever. Hmm, expect it. That guy's GoPro stick is huge. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. It's like. Woo! Ay, ay, ay. So, what we're looking for is the uh, tourism centre. Should be at the end of this road. So, we finally made it to the tourism centre. Um, what was upstairs? And we're in the M Plaza. Yes, one. And it's just like right in the middle of the Myeongdong shopping street. So yeah, I stopped and bought a bit of jewellery. Jewellery's been my thing this trip, but I bought something for the grace as well. But yeah, we're we'll gonna try some handball. Guys, why is it always that like we jinx ourselves? I felt like I was saying humble, humble too much, and it's not on right now. It's on um, Mondays to Thursdays between like certain time slot. So luckily tomorrow is Monday, so we can come try again tomorrow. But we know what it is, where it is, and what slots that we're allowed to come to. Hi guys. So it's quite a bit later on, and we are inside the coffee bean, which Ted stopped in so that I could do a bit of shopping, but I didn't really do that much. I just spent a long time inside one shop. We're back on the ever so busy Myeongdong Street, which was back there. We had a bit of street food, just like this bait that we had the other day. And now we go and go home. Try to look for that kimbap stand. Yeah, get some kimbap. Oh, we were going to head back, but we're in Migilo now. Keep getting static shots. It's like tons of little boutiques. Oh, I think I've seen this in pictures. That's 
is like my script. Looks familiar. Yeah. Yeah, it's on sale as well. Sale. Oh. So we're gonna go home and enjoy our kimbap, which I bought at the station. Six rolls of kimbap. Cool, cool. Oh, and then drink like the milks that I've got at home. You don't have any left, but I do, so I'm okay. And yeah. Evil. <laughs> Hi guys, we're back home now. I've got two milks in the fridge that I will be drinking. This one is a strawberry shortcake. No, strawberry cheesecake one. So I might drink that as well. Oh, we've got like little mochis. Well, they're like daifuku. It's got, it's like a mochi with red bean and then the strawberry on the inside. So it's kind of like layers. So we got two of those from the street food market. So we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. <laughs> oh, this is a huge game. Oh, there's too much open space. Yeah, it's really hot. Okay, oh my.